Saturday of the ninth week in Ordinary Time, June 10, 2023. A Young Ambassadors for Christ's Gospel Reflection In today's Gospel reading from the book of Mark, Jesus observes the people in the temple, particularly those who are putting their offerings into the treasury. He notices the wealthy individuals making grand donations, but then he shifts his attention to a poor widow who quietly approaches and gives just two small coins, worth only a fraction of a penny. Jesus calls his disciples over and tells them that this widow has given more than all the others combined. How is that possible? The answer lies in her heart. The wealthy individuals were giving out of their abundance, but the widow gave out of her poverty, giving all she had to live on. This story reveals an important truth about our relationship with God. It's not about the quantity of our offerings or possessions, it's about the quality of our hearts. God doesn't measure our worth by the size of our bank accounts or the grandeur of our actions. He looks deep into our hearts and evaluates the sincerity and generosity of our giving. The widow's humble act of giving teaches us a profound lesson about faith and trust in God. Despite her own need, she willingly let go of her last coins, believing that God would provide for her. Her trust in God's providence and her selfless giving make her an example of true discipleship. This passage challenges us to examine our own giving and the motivations behind it. Do we give with a sincere and generous heart, trusting in God's abundance? Or do we give out of obligation or the desire for recognition? Let us be inspired by the example of the widow and strive to give selflessly and wholeheartedly, trusting in God's provision. May we offer not only our material possessions but also our time, talents, and love, knowing that God sees and values the authenticity of our hearts. In this way, we can truly embody the spirit of discipleship and experience the abundant blessings of God's grace in our lives. Christ is the only answer, always and forever. To God be the glory.